Hello, uh, my name is Nane Ibrako. I am a freelance accountant and QuickBooks consultant. Today, I'm going to take you through um, the QuickBooks multiple inventory function or feature. Um, I must state that the QuickBooks multiple inventory location is only available in QuickBooks Enterprise. It is not available in QuickBooks Pro and it's not available in QuickBooks Premium. It's only available in QuickBooks Enterprise good so wait quick boost multiple inventory location or site uh, what it means is that you will be able to keep track of how much inventory or stock you store at each location the branch warehouse or a store so if you have multiple branches or shops and you want to use quick boost to, to keep track of inventory of each of the shops or warehouses or locations then you can do that using the QuickBooks multiple inventory location feature you can also set specific reorder point for each inventory at each location you can also purchase item for a specific location a branch or shop then you can also sell items from a specific location shop store or warehouse using the same one software then you also you will be also you be able to also transfer inventory within um, multiple stores shops or warehouses okay good so let me just take you to how quickbooks and um, multiple inventory works good so what it means is that when you buy items okay or you procure inventory or stock from your vendors and you want to enter into QuickBooks QuickBooks will ask you where or which shop or which warehouse is receiving the item so for example I have received some bills so I'll just go to enter bill I've received some bills for some items that we, I, I bought from a vendor so I want to enter it as a bill so I'll just go to enter bill I will select the vendor that I'm buying from. Let's say I'm buying from US Medic Inc. Then I'm buying an inventory item. So the bill is for an inventory item. So I'll just click on item. Then come and select the specific item and the quantity that I bought. Let's say I bought 1,000 pieces at the cost of this. Then I bought another item. Let's say this one I bought 1,500 at the cost of 16.15 cities per each. Then I bought another item. Let's say this one too. I bought let's say thousand at a cost of ten cd each, making a total of this. So in in all, it's an invoice of fifty one thousand nine hundred and fifteen. That is to be paid to this vendor. Now, I'm here. I'm supposed to select which location which store which warehouse is receiving this item so let's say this items is going to the main book farmer or the main head office so which i call it poku farmer main remember this sample data is for poku farmer ghana limited and poku farmer main is the is the, the, the head office of poku farmer and let's say this head office is receiving the item so i'll just come here select head office poco farmer main for all of these items now when i save what the system is going to do is that all these items are inventory and i'm receiving them under poco farmer main so the store that is receiving is poco farmer main so i'll just click save and close I can ever change maybe this particular one this particular product is actually going to perform my identity branch so i can just select perform my identity branch so let's say all of these products they are all going to perform my main then i'll just click save and close now at this point when i go to my inventory report and i want to see each of the inventory at each of the branches or, or each of the shops what i will do is i just go to inventory and just say quantity on hand by site now you will see that these are my inventories these are my headers for my branches 
and you will see that all these products they are all under Poco Farmer Main. So what it means is that I can see this product under Poco Farmer Main. All the other branches, I don't have any product there. Good. Now you can now also transfer inventory from one store to the other. So for example, I want to transfer some some of these items that I received from our head office to Adenta brand. So what I'll do is I just go to inventory and just click on transfer inventory. Now you select the dates for the inventory. Let's say I'm using today's date. Then transfer from where? So I'm transferring from Pokofama main to Pokofama Adenta. Now you come down and select the product that you are transferring. So let's say I'm transferring this. I'm transferring let's say um, 100 pieces. Then this product to uh, let's say I'm transferring let's say 150 then this particular product um, this particular product I'm transferring 200 good I can go up there and print this sheet so I just click on save so inventory has been moved from Pokofama main which is the head office to the Adanta Pokofama branch office so for example now when I go to report and just click on inventory I want to know the quantity of inventory at each of the stores or branches now you see that I have Poco Pharma main have 900 pieces of this particular product and 100 pieces you know, and 1300 cities of this particular product and so on then when I come to the Adenta inventories under Adenta is also there are we okay now Let's say you are doing another transfer to another branch. So we are also transferring from the main head office to let's say down someone branch. Okay. This so I'm transferring 50. This particular product I'm transferring let's say um, 300. Then this product I'm transferring um, 100 now just say when I go to report again I want to know my inventory levels for each of the branches so what I'll do is I just go to inventory quantity on hand by site now you now see that each of the branches have some sort of inventory so Pukufama have 850 pieces of bioferron caps Pokufama Adenta Branch has 100, then Pokufama Dansuman have 50 pieces of the same product, and so on. Are we okay? So that is that. You can you can also when you are selling, you can also specific which branch or which uh, office is selling. So for example, I want to create an invoice. And you are selling something to. Um, a customer called DIS Clinic. You are selling this particular product. Uh, let's say 20 pieces. Then this particular product you are selling 30 pieces. Now here you have to select which of the branches, which of the stores of Pokefarma is making that sale. So here let's say is the main head office that is making that sale. Or the two products, yeah, we are all issued them from the main of head office. So the data with this plus this, I just seven close. So what this does is that it's going to deduct this amount, this quantity of inventory, from the store, um, from the inventory of Pokofama main. So I'm just going to click save. Mm. So that is saved. So it's going to be subtracted from Pokofama inventory so for example when I go to report and go to inventory and click on quantity on hand by site now you know that the quantities for performer main or the head office has reduced now let me double click on this and see the details 